I'm a Aviation Medical Adventista or Adventist Medical Aviation. AMA stands for love and it is because we show this part of the country that we do care, love them and that we are there for them when they're in time of need. That is making such a difference. Our patient this morning, a man that has been bitten by a very poisonous snake. By air, only 20 minutes and we'll have him at Santa Elena Airport. We'll be taken by ambulance to the hospital. As we taxi back to the end of the runway to take off, you can see that even on the ground sometimes it's hard to decide what's runway and what's not. Last year in 2005, we flew over 200 patients out to help, most of whom would have died if we weren't there to help them. On the flight back, I want to take you to a couple of waterfalls. There are hundreds of waterfalls like these in this area. and a lot of beautiful birds. But now back to Santa Elena. Today's like many days. We can't get an ambulance to come out and so we use our truck for our ambulance. I'd call ahead by radio and let Nava know I would need her at the airport since I couldn't line up an ambulance and she was there waiting for me to take them on to the hospital. This village, Aja King, tough little strip to get in and out of. You can see by the smoke on the other end that we have a little bit of crosswind slightly quartering from the tail as we land in this morning. This morning I'm here with the mission president and the pastor of the district. We're going down the river about 15 minutes in the dugout to a little village of Achakamaru. There a church will be organized this morning. Here comes our ride now. They make dugout canoes and then they put 40 horse outboards on the back. Do quite well up and down the river. You want to make sure you stop on time at the right place because if you go too far, you'll be going over these waterfalls. Some of the kids from the village had walked the half hour to get to where the dugout stopped to come and welcome us. On the walk to the village, I kept getting behind because I wanted to stop and take pictures of all the beautiful flowers I saw along the way.
we got there? Just a song service was starting. There were several baptized that afternoon. In the last five months, there have been 201 people baptized due directly related to the work of the plane. Last year, in 2005, directly due to the work of the plane, there were over 400 people baptized. After a ride back up the river in the dugout and a hike back up the hill to the runway, then we found the little plane resting on the end of the runway. Yeah, it needed to rest up all it could so it can give us all it had to get us back off this little strip. This morning we're heading to several villages. We have a dentist that will be working with us for the next few days and we want to see how many villages we'll be able to help. This is a nice airport of Caracol. Well, not much of an airport and if they would mow it, it would actually be easier to find from there. In just a little bit, everything was set up, ready to start work. We'd lined up the villages ahead of time, so each village that we went to knew we were coming in approximate time that we would be there. That way everybody would be there with their tooth problems. Some places we went, we were able to work inside, other places, well, partly inside, and then others, like this little village, well, outside was the place to work. Plenty of room that way, anyhow. We'd been needing a dentist to help us for a long time, and we we're so happy that Veronica from Caracas was able to take her vacation and give of her time to help so many people. Each day we visited two and sometimes three villages. As soon as we were done treating everybody that needed help, we'd pack up and head towards the next village. You'll notice the spoon she's using to stir with also doubles for a lid. Pretty practical, I think. Veronica spent five days with us, visited 11 villages, treated 240 patients. She was very tired when she headed back to Caracas, but very happy and plans on coming back again and helping us. And we're so thankful for her help and dedication. Your prayers are much appreciated. And if you'd like to help support the work here, you can send a donation through Gospel Ministries International. Just mark it Norton's Venezuela. And we'd like to hear from you. You can email us at nextvnn at yahoo.com. For more information, you can look under Gospel Ministries website at www.gospelministry.org.